What's up guys? Welcome back to Modern Traders. I'm Ben. I'll be your host. And before we get started, I invite you over to the newest Modern Traders social media outlet, Modern Traders LLC over on Instagram. Be posting uh, screenshots of results. Uh, just keep you posted on Modern Traders business. Um, I think we'll be doing some live trading over there. But yeah, check it out. Link will be in the description as well as the Discord link. And today we are talking about pot stocks. We have a upcoming exciting merger between Tilray and Afria, going to make them the biggest uh, pot company in the world, I believe. And some other recent catalysts and new legalizations. Uh, more and more states, I believe we're up to 16 now. And of course, it's uh, looking more and more likely that the Biden administration may go for the federal legalization push, which would send these uh, stocks in the entire sector just soaring back to 2018 type levels. Um, so, so we're going to start talking about Afria and Tilray uh, upcoming merger. Um, should be coming up here uh, on the 14th and 16th, respectively, are the vote dates. Um, shareholders uh, are voting for. Tilray uh, on the 15th and Afria beforehand and they said uh, like you see here it's already been received the uh, required FDA or, uh, approvals and it's pretty much a lock you know so should definitely be seeing a, uh, a little bit of a hype up in uh, Tilray and Afria. Now Tilray uh, unfortunately as you see here is uh, uh, wrapped up in the whole game stock meme stock thing which you know just sour the reputation I mean it's a solid company you know, it'd be better if it just left alone. But um, it did uh, spike quite a bit with GameStop and come, uh, you know, way back down. But, I mean, it was actually nothing compared to the spike they had in 2018 where they hit highs of around 150 and are actually down 98% since then. Uh, they said the fundamentals for Tilray have uh, improved. Uh, revenues are up 10 times in the last four years. You know, and it's reasonable to expect them to keep going, especially with federal legalization. Obviously, we can send these soaring. Uh, you know, we can't plan on that. We have to plan for them uh, based on the criteria that they have at the moment and based on the fundamentals that they're showing, not on what could happen. And it's still a strong company just with this recent legalization state to state. Uh, you can see here, looking at the year-to-date graph, uh, started the year out around about $10.00 which is actually a pretty solid uh, solid footing. And then, unfortunately, for a lot of people that got in uh, on the hype, ran all the way up to $63 before cooling off uh, pretty much the majority of it, you know, down back down into the $20 range, which is still, you know, that's still a 100% increase from the beginning of the year, which is, you know, nothing to sneeze at. And I do see the company growing, uh, but like I said, unfortunately, it was marred by that, and a lot of people are soured to it. So, uh, personally... I would prefer to play Afria in this situation. And these stocks, you know, they have uh, long-term potential, obviously. And if you're looking to play these long-term, you might want to wait until after the merger, see what happens with the sector. You might have a better entry point. But we do uh, have an opportunity here to play, especially contract plays uh, in the short term, possibly day trades or very short swings on these for the hype that we do expect to see from the merger. And the sector in general, when uh, one stock pops, in this sector, typically you see sympathy runs throughout the sector, so we're going to want to keep our eyes peeled on the MJ sector in general. Now, personally, like I said, Afria, I think, is the better uh, better bet here. Uh, like it says here, it currently holds all the cards uh, in the merger. Uh, they're going to keep the Tilray name, but Afria shareholders will own 62% of the company. So Afria is going to be in control there. Also, Afria shareholders get uh, 0.83 shares of Tilray. Meanwhile, Tilray shareholders... Uh, have no change in their holdings. They're keeping what they had. So Afria is definitely getting the better end of this deal. And you didn't see Afria run up crazy and screw a lot of people over. It just had a nice uh, steady run up during that whole uh, game stock saga because, like I said, these stocks do seem to have sympathy throughout the sector. So when Tilray ran up, you saw a lot more reasonable run ups from a lot of the other companies that are also well positioned at the moment. But Afria, I think, is a, a great, uh, even right now, uh, the price it's sitting at, I think, is a great entry long term. This is the kind of company you plan on holding for years and just adding to on dips. But you can play it both ways. You can play it short term, maybe a contract play, maybe just uh, grab some shares before what could be a good pop. If it does pop quite a bit, you know, cash in a lot of the position, take that profit when it pulls back. Add to it, and you got yourself a long-term position at a reduced rate. That's just the way I'm personally hoping to play this one. You gotta wait and see how it plays out, though, guys. You know, never force these trades. Like I said, don't just buy these stocks because there's a merger coming up. 
watch them because there's a merger coming up. Buy them when you see evidence that they're going to start going up because of and uh, like I said, um, A3, you can see here, um, one thing to look out for is they are expected to have a uh, uh, bad third quarter uh, for a myriad of reasons. But despite that, you can see here, Stifle still uh, raised price target to 22 from 15. And you also see that uh, Cormark down here uh, raised their price target to 18.25 from 10.75. So despite expecting a bad uh, third quarter, they're still bullish on these stocks, which is an awesome sign, guys. And looking at the graph for Afria, you can see the similar year-to-date uh, run-up. Started out a little under $10 beginning of the year. Uh, we see a nice 300% uh, run-up, or 200% run-up, I'm sorry, up to highs over $30. And then uh, when this one cooled off, it cooled off reasonably, and we held on to uh, more than 100% of that gain. So this is uh, just a good indication here. We see a run-up. We come back down, pre test previous resistance. That becomes new support. That's a healthy growth. When you see something like this, this is, this is the kind of growth you want to see, long-term, medium-term. Now, pops like what you see with Tilray are what you're going to want to look for for swing trades, day trades. But like I said, with the market as volatile it is, it is guys right now, you're going to want to try to have a more long-term mindset using uh, short-term plays just to fund your long-term positions. That's the key to long-term success, guys. You're not, I mean, no matter how good you're doing day trading, like I always say, on a long enough timeline, your success rate is going to drop to zero if that's the only thing you're doing. So we try to branch out here. But like I said, we've got... Uh, Sympathy plays are very, very common when anything runs up in the market. So if we do see these pops in Afri and Tilray, we're likely to see some more. And uh, just to add to the likelihood that we see profit in these plays, we want to try to find other companies with recent or upcoming catalysts. Uh, Canopy Growth uh, is going to be buying Supreme, a OTC uh, pink sheet stocks, uh, over-the-counter stocks, as you know, are the real cheap, real volatile stocks that are not listed on the main indexes. So you got to be careful with them. Uh, Canopy Growth, however, is a very established, very solid pot company, one of the big guys in the sphere, and this is just the kind of thing that people love to see. I mean, it's a, a, a merger like this, an acquisition of, of another pot company, just becoming a, a bigger, more profitable machine. It's what investors want to see, and it's what we want to look for uh, for spike and hype potential. So, like I said, if we see Tilray and Afria spark up a run on the sector, we're going to most likely see canopy growth uh, take a sympathy run as well. And to uh, another uh, further extent, we most likely see that from Supreme if you are into the OTC stocks. And you can see OT, uh, canopy and Supreme both followed that same pattern of sympathy earlier in the year. Uh, Supreme actually ran up about three over 300%. Uh, when it cooled off, it still held on to over 100% of that growth. And then uh, on the news of a merger with Canopy, it just started taking off again. So these are a couple more to keep an eye on if we see that sector start to heat up. And the last one I want to talk about is Organigram, because that one's still uh, relatively cheap. We have seen it uh, run up earlier in the year to uh, about a $6 high. Uh, cooled off since then, but has definitely seemed to establish a higher support and a pattern of higher lows. And um, they have earnings coming up on Tuesday, which uh, may not do spectacularly well, but should do decent. Organigram just announced Friday that they acquired the edibles and infusions company. Um, actually, they acquired all the outstanding shares. Uh, I'm not sure if you would call that a hostile takeover, but regardless, they're expanding their uh, footprint into the edibles uh, with this Edible Infusions Corporation, EIC, uh, for consideration of $22 million plus uh, up to an additional $13 million in shares. Just, you know, like I said, this is the kind of thing that investors like to see, just uh, growth and moving forward for a company. So we got Organigram with this catalyst, as well as the upcoming earnings. And with Tilray and Afria heat up the sector, we could definitely see a run back to six on Organigram. And just want to keep make sure you got the pot sector on your radar, guys. And uh, before I go, I want to invite you over to the Discord. We keep uh, resources posted for the free members, uh, free to join. We also have a premium section. We do daily call outs, watch lists, SPAC lists, you know, just a whole bunch of features for you. And uh, we do have monthly prizes for both free and premium. So come check us out. Till next time, I'm Ben. This is Modern Traders. And thanks for stopping by.